What if you could snap your fingers and know exactly what was good for your diabetes health? Well, you actually can because there is one diet that has been proven time and time again to help reverse insulin resistance and is guaranteed to show results. And you are going to learn all about this diet in our easy to understand two-part series. In part one, you'll learn what a diabetes diet should accomplish, why a diabetes diet can be so powerful, and we'll break down exactly how much protein, carbohydrate, and fat you should aim for. Then in part two, you'll discover some easy to understand guidelines for the proven diabetes diet, along with why other diets aren't the best solution. And you'll have the blueprint to reversing type two diabetes in the vast majority of cases. The most powerful medicine you take every day is the food you put in your mouth. Wouldn't you love to know how to get the most out of it? My name is Robbie Barbero. I'm a New York Times bestselling author, and I've been living with type one diabetes for over 22 years. Together with my co-founder Cyrus Kambada, we've been coaching people to reverse insulin resistance for decades using simple evidence-based guidelines that are easy to understand and fun to implement. Are you ready to master diabetes? For people living with type two diabetes, figuring out a healthy diet and food choices can be an uphill battle. In addition to having to adjust lifelong eating habits, there is a great deal of conflicting information about what you can eat, what you should eat, and what you might want to eat. It's our mission to cut through the confusion and help you understand and implement the most powerful diet for diabetes health. For people living with type two diabetes, the number one goal is to reverse insulin resistance, as this is the most surefire way to reverse non-insulin dependent type two diabetes and ensure that your pancreas is healthy in the long term. As you take steps to achieve this goal, you'll see your blood glucose levels drop lower and lower until you're consistently seeing numbers in the non-diabetic range. There is one type of diet, a low-fat, plant-based, whole food diet that will help you maximize your insulin sensitivity. A nutrient-poor diet is one of the most powerful contributors to diabetes risk, which can lead to comorbidities such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, heart disease, and kidney disease. On the other hand, the low-fat plant-based whole food diet that helps prevent diabetes also has other benefits like weight loss, increased energy, increased immunity, and better physical fitness. So it's a win-win. So what does that mean for you? First and foremost, we recommend that the vast majority of your nutrients come from plants due to the various risks associated with eating meat, which you can see in our other video on the top. We also recommend removing artificial sweeteners and synthetic and processed products from your diet as much as possible due to their proven association with chronic disease. Finally, we recommend that you get a minimum of 70% of your calories from the carbohydrates found in fruits, starchy vegetables, legumes, and intact whole grains, with the remaining calories coming from fat and protein, which is also found in whole plants. Does this sound restrictive to you? You might think so at first, but countless plant-based recipes might make you rethink how abundant this diet truly can be. So let's look at each of the major macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and proteins, and see what this means for each of them. So first we have carbohydrates. In recent years, carbohydrates have gotten a bad rap, mostly due to the presence of bad carbohydrates. However, fruits, grains, and vegetables are rich in whole unrefined carbohydrates, which are the foundation of a diabetes diet. So what carbohydrates should people living with diabetes eat? Almost all plants, fruits, and vegetables are rich in good carbohydrates that you can eat ad libitum, meaning as much as you want without worrying about portion size. In addition to being a great source of energy, they're also high in nutrients like dietary fiber, 
antioxidants, and key vitamins. These carbohydrate-rich foods, most of which are high fiber, include all fruits, with the key exception being avocados, all starchy vegetables, such as potatoes, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, and other root vegetables, all legumes, including beans, peas, and lentils, with the key exception being soybeans, and intact whole grains, such as brown rice, quinoa, and millet. And what carbohydrates should you avoid? Well, the answer here is simple. No, literally, you should avoid simple carbohydrates. These are refined foods, which include all processed and artificial sweeteners. Keep an eye out and limit or completely avoid foods with added sugar or refined sugar. Foods with high fructose corn syrup, fruit juice with added sugar, white bread, white rice, and in general, almost all processed foods. Next up, we have fats. We recommend a low fat diet because excess dietary fat is the primary cause of insulin resistance, the underlying condition that causes prediabetes and type two diabetes. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that you should remove all fat from your diet, which in fact is actually impossible if you consume any amount of whole foods. Instead, focus on limiting your consumption of high fat foods and keep your total fat intake under 15% of your total calories. So what are the best fat sources for people living with diabetes? The answer is actually the same foods that provide carbohydrate energy because all whole foods contain fat and protein. When eating a low fat plant-based whole food diet, you will be consuming the bulk of your fat from whole foods such as bananas, mangoes, potatoes, squash, beans, and quinoa. This diet also includes whole plant foods that are naturally high in fat. This includes avocados, nuts and seeds, coconut meat, durian, olives, and edamame. Eaten in moderation, these foods won't increase your insulin resistance, but can pose a risk in higher quantities. One type of food that still has a lot of controversy around it is natural oils like olive oil. We actually covered this topic in another two-part series on our channel. In short, it's best to avoid all oils in order to maximize your insulin sensitivity. What else should you avoid? In general, we recommend avoiding fat-rich foods and seeking to minimize your intake of trans fat and saturated fat if they fall into the two categories we recommend avoiding, artificial and derived from meats. This includes most saturated fats, trans fats, margarine, ghee, and so on. They can be tasty, but the cardiovascular and health risks just aren't worth it. And finally, we have protein, probably the most confusing of them all. The research on high protein diets is clear. You don't need that much protein. In fact, high protein diets actually increase your risk of disease significantly. And while we may sound like a broken record, we recommend plant-based whole food proteins while avoiding animal-based and even factory manufactured plant-based proteins. What are the best sources of protein if you're living with diabetes? Plant-based proteins are the go-to, especially those from whole foods. Do yourself a favor and log your food in a food tracker such as Chronometer and see how easy it is to meet your protein requirements. This topic has been blown out of proportion. You really don't need to overthink your protein consumption, especially when you're following the Mastering Diabetes recipes. In order to optimize your insulin sensitivity, keep your protein intake under 15% of total calories. And what protein should you avoid? Well, processed meats and red meats are the big red flags here with dairy products, even low fat dairy, and most white meats filling out the list of foods to avoid. Though these foods can often be addictive and enjoyable in the moment, but their long-term risks just aren't worth it, especially when trying to overcome type two diabetes. Now you may be asking yourself, so how in the world do I actually pull this off? In fact, let us know in the comments, which foods always confuse you or trip you up? We all have them. And here at Mastering Diabetes, we definitely get it. That's why in the next video, we'll break down the easy to understand guidelines to making this diet a reality and give you some pro tips on how to master life with diabetes. You can click on the video on your screen right now to go there. But before you do, 
pop over to that subscribe button and look at the notifications and then click subscribe and click that bell. If you're liking this video and you want to stay up to date with all the latest research on maximizing your life with living with diabetes, this is the place to be. So we will see you in the next video and we're gonna help you reverse type two diabetes step-by-step. Step. We'll see you there.